In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi password and also your administrator password to log in to your default gateway or your router. Now, along with this, I'll be sharing some extra security steps that you may want to take. To okay, so the first thing actually to do anything, we need to know our default gateway or our router IP address, right? To do this, you can either guess, which is usually starts with 192.168.1.0, 0.1 0 .1, or 11 something along those lines. If it doesn't work for you, don't worry, I will show you how to get your default gateway or your router IP address very, very easily within the Windows command line. Once you figure out your IP address, now to basically do this, you can do this for your phone, you can do this for your computer. I do recommend doing it through either a tablet, computer, or laptop, whatever really suits you. As phones can be a bit laggy, I do not recommend doing this on a phone. So once you find your, your IP address, all you need to do is just type HTTP 192.168.1.1, right? That's my IP address. Your IP address can be different. As I said, it matters from router to router. Once you get your basically web configuration interface, you need to do a sign in. You can sign in by obviously clicking sign in in the right corner and putting your details. On your router or basically or in your configuration kit of your router, you should get a login and a password. Use this, right? So once you sign in, you should be allowed to do basically configuration of your router. Once you manage to sign in, hopefully without trouble, all you need to do is to look for a basically tab called wireless Wi-Fi password, something along those lines, right? Click to wireless, click the basically settings option. And what you're going to get is basically something called AP or access point or something like that. That's your router. Now, as you can see, you should sort of see your password right here and you should see your network name and your security mode. I do not recommend changing anything here apart from the Wi-Fi password unless you want to change stuff, right? But just to make sure you know what you're doing as you can break stuff very, very easily. And then what you're going to have to do is code an engineer to your house to fix it for you or reset the router. So basically change your Wi-Fi password to whatever you really want to. Now I do recommend as basically cybersecurity specialist, I do recommend something along to between 16 to maybe 20 characters, if not then between 12 to 20, mixed special upper and lower characters, numbers, and basically just to make it as, and also non-dictionary words, to make it as hard as possible now, an additional step that you may want to take or not to take, it's really up to you, is to change the default username of your administrator login. So basically, the username you, and the password you logged in can also be changed. If you come to management or user management or user something along those lines, you can change the username right here. So if I click right here, edit, it basically allows me to change the username and along with the username, I can change the password. Now, it's up to you if you want to change this. Don't forget to check out my other videos, which should be somewhere on the screen right now. Check out my playlist. I have lots of ethical hacking cybersecurity videos. And also, if you want to learn hacking the fastest way, my way, also of extra detail, don't forget to check the description below.